Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a super duper couple in love that loves reacting to some Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, we do. So this is Dragon Ball Super episode number 17. Uh, we have a playlist for all of our Dragon Ball Super reactions down below in the description of this video. And we also got a link to Patreon. You can get early ad free access or a month or ahead or more, depending on which tier you sign up for. Yeah. All right, ready to do this? I'm ready. I don't care about limits. Previously on Dragon Ball Super, Goku reach a stunning... Mm -hmm. Yes, I am Lord Beerus' teacher as well. And finally convinced the strange alien by cooking what he claimed was the best food on... <laughs> the adventure continues now. Pan is born. Yay! Goes on a training journey. Oh, I hope he has Chi-Chi's permission. Look at you, <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but it's time for Pan's nap. Who's a cute? Dad, I'm talking! <laughs> <laughs> He's a scholarly egghead giving lectures. Yes. <laughs> Interpretive dance. Fiendish Mr. Satan, I caught you stealing Pan's heart! <laughs> What the hell? Yeah. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Power of Saiyan Man Super Mega Daddy Love! <laughs> Super Mega Daddy. This game every day. How do they not get tired of it? <laughs> well, I brought pan a few. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> do you see it? Oh shit. Catch the battery! Sorry about you. Man, she can give that stare. That could be dangerous, you know. You think I'm being dangerous? There, there, Pan. Don't be scared. Your grandmother will keep you safe, won't she? <laughs> Such a happy baby. Mation, she can hold up her head just fine. It's no problem. We do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, you're not doing it anymore, do you hear me? Yeah, that's not gonna help you, Gohan. Mm -hmm. Battle-obsessed maniac like your dad, and we can't have that! Pan is going to be a graceful modern woman with several prestigious degrees in a corner office. <laughs> but I've already decided Pan's gonna be a great martial artist. This is a joke, isn't it? Then hundreds of fighters will want to train in her dojo that she'll probably name after me! Well, I... Who made you queen? Guys, come on. We've got a few years to discuss. We're talking about this now. <laughs> else says there's no way I'll let her step foot in a ring. Except Gohan was your kid and Pan is not. So it's up to Gohan and, and also, Fidel. it's Pan's choice. Uh, oh, when she gets of age. It's her choice. In there! Oh, that's too much more! Uh-oh. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Road rage. You know our position on vigilantes, right? Uh, Krillin? They generally. I was hoping that was gonna be Krillin. Those jerks interrupted a young lady's trip to the beauty salon to me. Trying to argue with you is like trying to fight a dragon with a yo-yo. <laughs> Change one bit. Huh? Here. Still gonna take it. Hello. What? Yeah, okay. I'll be right there. What do you think? Huh? Let us in, Gohan. Dad's here, too. <laughs> this is kind of my fault. I got... Look, we just have to hold our ground until they see things our way, okay? <gasps> but is it Fidel's way? You want to raise Pan, have I? I mean, what kind of future do you want for her? Ever you choose, I'll be on your side. Oh. As long as it's your side. Mm-hmm. I beg you, Goku, and I can't take another minute without Pan. Hey, I'm no good at talking to Chi Chi when she's like. That's true. Well, convince her for you. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, thank you, Bulma. Oh, you mean it? And in return, Krillin's gonna make that ticket he gave me magically disappear. No can do. You just said you can't handle Mr. Policeman. I said I can't. Fine, be that way. Can you open the door for me? Oh my no, God. I like that, Krillin's got a code. <laughs> Sense of duty. Uh. 
I know, right? The guards don't get it. God, it drives me up a wall. Watching the show just makes me so hungry. I know your daughter's part Saiyan, but how do you feel about her fighting? It's hard to say. I grew up studying martial arts. Yeah. Partly what drew me to Gohan. It was fun for me, but I also like books and dolls and- You can do both. I just want her to have all the options and grow up to be whatever she wants. Exactly. My husband, for instance. He's a wee guy and I haven't seen him in six whole months. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What do you mean he's off training with Whis? How did that happen? <laughs> Whis is just helping him reach a new level like you did. He's been out training this whole time while I've been out farming? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is nutso. Oh god, Goku. Can't believe Whis was actually Beerus's teacher all along. Okay, place. I'm not guessing he likes to play back. his card. Definitely not. Oh, why am I even trying? You're hopeless. Wait, if Vegeta's on Beerus's world, then can't you just search for his energy? Once you lock onto his power, you could use your instant transmission, right? Good call, Krillin. <laughs> That's if Whis allows you. <clears throat> it's no uh, use. Uh... Guess all I can do now is wait. Is Whis here? No, not yet! Every day. Is he here now? <laughs> Dude! So how about now? Seriously? She's gonna slap him. Yeah, there we go. Why are you giving Goku a phone? Mm. But don't worry, I can explain. And this is to help us plan it. Pretty smart. Oh, that's great! Good cover. Grandpa jobs seriously. Uh, yes, exactly. That's right, he's a changed man. <laughs> You've had all this time and you still haven't talked to her about training there yet? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> still no Someone's call. The girl song by. Hey Goku, look who stopped by. Uh, Dad? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> nice try, but you won't get me to talk. Goku's being such a great grandpa. Now I'm definitely suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> still no. Hmm? Bulma? <gasps> yeah. <coughs> Finally. Don't tell me. <laughs> yep. I mean, you could have guessed it, dude. Greetings, Goku. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, man, I knew it. I heard a rumor that Vegeta's been training on your world. Is that true? Hmm. Mm -hmm. The Saiyan Prince introduced me to an unbelievably delicious cuisine, so I practically had no choice. That's great. Practical. I want to become as powerful as Lord Beerus. I beg you, I'll do whatever it takes. Please. Well, Vegeta took a knee for one. Can give him food. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't see why not. <laughs> Except to be a future destroyer, right? All right, let's go. I don't want to waste any more time. Sorry, Goku. I'm afraid you'll have ever. to wait. You don't expect me to cancel my lunch plans with Bulma, do you? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I just got excited. You guys have a great lunch and enjoy yourselves, and I'll wait right here till you get back. How generous of him. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I get to train on his world. This is gonna be so awesome. This is gonna be so awful. When mom hears. Oh yeah. Yeah. She yeah. It's a little bit of an understatement. Oh. How she's gonna react. So you dip the meat himself? An interactive. <laughs> I can't wait to hear sizzles. Are you guys done yet? Goku. Goku, we haven't started yet. Oh, right. Sorry. Just take your time. He is quite the impatient one, isn't he? Anyway, back to the... When it comes to fighting and training, yes. Here I... Now are you done? No, as I said, we're only starting. All right. <laughs> Sorry. The first lesson will be patience. Mm. Look! It's changing color! How are you done yet? Oh, my God. Dude. Be careful or he might decide not to train you after... Just take your time. I'll be over there. <laughs> He's like a gnat. <laughs> It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, you're done, so we can go, right? I, <laughs> I don't believe I can teach you. Oh, nobody moves! Oh! I'll be back! I'll be back! Look, Chi-Chi, it's not a big deal. Just a little training. That's all I need, a little itty- <laughs> That's what you always tell me, but I'm not- It's gotta be important if Dad wants it this bad. Let's go, Tim. Mom and Dad are talking! <laughs> You're leaving now? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm trying to get stronger. <laughs> it's too important to play. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Go, go! So much trouble. Uh, I just thought he'd change this time. But that's Goku for you. There you go. Big party. Huh? Who, me? Might as well. I'll make it even bigger than the last. That was a rash. Lots of pudding. <laughs> Are you sure you want to leave like that? I would hate to be called a homewrecker. 
but she understands me more than anybody. And do we get to have oh, a man. baby? Oh, you man. know it. Have to this? Mm -hmm. Looks like you don't have to worry about mom after all. Free to train your heart out. Always wanted to put a baby girl in a cute little party dress. Mom, you really are amazing. Love Weiss. Uh, such a fun character. Um, I want to be called a home wrecker. Uh, yeah, I just want him and Zarbon. Is that too much to ask? I need oh him God. and Zarbon in something. Oh, can you imagine the fun that Team Four Star would have with that? Yes, yes, I need it. I need that in my life. Um, Goku, man, he just, ugh. patience of like a five-year-old. If that. <laughs> I can't imagine somebody being as impatient as as Goku, like, mm -hmm. because generally like that level of, imp of impatience is paired with frustration, like, you know, impatience in the car when you're stuck in traffic, mm -hmm. which is like, you can't do anything about it. Getting all upset doesn't do any good. And yet we've all been there and we've all done it. He's that impatient in such a good natured way. And usually like when you're able to keep your head on you and, and have that good nature, you're usually able to assess the situation well enough to know like, I should not pester this person right now. Yeah. It is going to work against me. Pan is cute as a baby, but I still think she was cuter as like a, like, I don't know, was she like five or six or whatever when we saw her at the end of Dragon Ball Z Kai? Mm. She was really adorable there. Yeah, um, and I mean, I get it, Chi Chi. I'm glad they finally like, at, I'm glad she finally asked Fidel, oh, yeah. what do you want? But make sure you choose correctly. <laughs> yeah. I, there was, there was a lot about this episode that I really liked because there was things in it that are very relatable. Um, mm. Now, I say this as someone who has not had a child, but the kind of assumption that one has when they have a child is that the grandparents are going to be all in there and tell you exactly how to raise your child and how mm -hmm. not to do things and all of that. So like, this did a great job depicting that. But with the final lesson of like, as Videl said, she wants her child to have all the options. Yeah. And then her child can choose. Like, maybe her child's going to hate dolls. You're not going to force a child to play with dolls just because it makes mm. you happy as the grandparent. Um, so I, I loved I loved how they put that all in and they had, like, the right balance of lightheartedness and joy and humor because Goku busting through a wall. Um, like the Kool-Aid man. Yeah, like the Kool-Aid man. But she did not fix that wall no. well at all. Um you know, but then all of that comes into play. The final lesson is, though, that Videl is the mom of the baby and Videl is going to let the kid choose. And you know what? That's the way it goes. Um, so I liked that. And then I also liked Chi Chi and Goku duking it out and fighting it all. And then he leaves. She goes, well, that's it. We'll just do it again next month. And it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, she accepts Goku for who he is. And this kind of banter between the two of them. That is part of their relationship and, and kind of like the sport in it and the fun for both of them. Um, so even though she looks kind of demonic yeah, um, and rageful, it was so great to see that shift and to know like, oh, but I mean, yeah, Goku drives up a wall, but in that way that like only someone that you love can do. I love the image, the shot of like uh, Gohan carrying uh, his mom, carrying Chi Chi, and she's just like ready to get in there and fight. It looks like yes. she's like he's a like, killed in her back. Um, and as soon as he puts her down, she has that same motion, just straight out at uh, at Goku. Uh, so that was yeah, I think that was my favorite part of the of this, other than than uh, Weiss's stuff with um, it's like when Goku grabs him. Oh my, I don't want to be a home wrecker. <laughs> I also loved Gohan's like admission when when that happened. He was he put his mom down and be like, "Sorry, Dad, but I had to do it for my safety." Yeah, that was just great. Um, and go back to Videl uh, and Pan. Um, when Videl told her, said herself that like she played with dolls and was like a you know uh, and was a fighter, I like that because like you know you, yeah you can do both. It's not like that you know you necessarily like if you play with dolls and all you're gonna be like a girly girl or whatever. It's like no, you can like you know. It, it's fine. So it's okay. But play with dolls. That's you know you can still be a badass. And play with dolls. Just saying. I played with dolls as a kid and Barbies and and did dress up. But I was and also Ken's with with his Mojo Dojo Casa House. Yes, of course, with the Mojo Dojo Casa House. Okay. Um, you know, but I was also a tomboy and I did sports. Stereotypes of gender roles are antiquated. That's my position. All right, there you go. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want uh, early ad-free access to our reactions, we're a month ahead on Patreon. There's a link down below in the description of this video. You can go ahead and check that out. 
Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Super episode number 17, which keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.